about to depart. I'm looking here at the map, and it looks like the route that we follow out Then you end up on a cement wall. Church is back that way, you remember. We go out this way, we hit, I think, another church. A couple ways we can go about this. This way's about 300 meters longer. This way kind of goes down to the edge of the city. I'm gonna take the shorter way. There we go, there's some light. I rather like this graffiti, the snake in the Garden of Eden, saying, call a taxi. <laughs> Once again, I'm walking out of this town at night. This is a little creepy. Don't know if you can see anything behind me. Can you see the full moon over there? Can you see the Camino? There, you can kind of see the road now. This is one of the rare times when I thought, starting to think it was a mistake to leave this early. I had this horrible dream last night that I shaved my beard. Usually when you're out this early, there are a lot of people with you, but there aren't today. They must have known something I didn't because I don't remember that stretch at all. I guess we could have followed the main road. I'm starting to remember now. It's darker than when I came through here last time. I think I came out a little later, so it was dark up there. And then there's this cross, which is masked in darkness it was during this stretch in 2018 that i learned i was using my sticks wrong walking past a church that's too dark to see so we'll have to recycle the footage from last time we were at a crossroads i remember this place now i think i went that way because i thought these little towns might have cafes but none of them did i needed something to drink i am in the forest and it's pitch black there's nothing here it's 7.22. The sun doesn't start showing over there till about 10 minutes to 8. Do I want to walk in here for 30 minutes in the dark? We're at a stream. And the Camino takes us over these rocks, this little rock bridge. And I'm not digging it. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I can either sit here and wait for sunrise, which is probably what I should do, or I can cross, take my chances. At night, it's scary, but we'll... I think I'm gonna cross. I think I'm gonna cross. Well, we made it across. There's the bridge, you can see. It comes, I walked across a couple of places I... I don't know, and these pilgrims come down, click, 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 you know, in the middle of the night. Must be nice to just be that foolhardy. I can start to see the sun. I try to show it, and it doesn't really quite show it, but I'm starting to see the edges of the sun above the trees. The sky getting a little lighter. We get to walk along the highway for a little bit, which is a bit of a relief at night. Visibility is getting better. There's a little hamlet ahead with a little uh, light on. I know there's a taberna in one of these tiny hamlets. This is the place it showed on the map and it's closed. Well, as the sun creeps higher, there is a, a little oasis over here, El Pequeno Oasis. I'm just gonna take off my pack, have a couple of my protein bars. I've been walking for about an hour and a half, started at 6.30, twice on the Camino so far. I've gotten myself in situations, they're on video, they're gonna end up on YouTube. Where I said to myself, if this doesn't kill me, my wife will when she sees it. Today may have been number three, but I'm okay now. I'm on the other side. That's better. Get the coat off. It's going to be an interesting next couple days. It's a little dark here, but this spot's sacred memory. Kind of a stupid memory, actually. In 2018, I'm trucking along here, waxing philosophical like I think I know everything. And you can see in the background this marker, which is a little dark now. I walk right past the marker, which tells me which way to go, and I went all the way down this road. And while I was recording that video, I walked all the way up there, not realizing that the marker <laughs> is over here. I was sure an idiot. This is very weird. I'm here very early, and I'm all alone. In 2018, I was here a lot later in the morning, 
I was moving so slow I was in a lot of pain. I stopped here to do a video blog and I propped my camera on, on this very same backpack, on this very same picnic table, looking up at me at this similar angle. I was about to talk when this group of women came through. They all spoke Spanish. And they were all really loud, so I think they were newbies like I was. They were Saria starters. And uh, you see me talking to them, but I never got my vlog. Okay, entering Boente. Well, maybe you, this isn't Boente. Maybe this is something else. The app says there's a great bar when you enter town. I'm not, wait a minute. Oh, well, there's that great bar, maybe. It's German. El Aleman. Ah, yes. This is a special place. And it is closed today. I am depressed. This isn't right that Cafeteria El Aleman Das Deutsche Café is closed. I feel like I should play the Midnight Cowboy theme over this or something. If it wasn't licensed, I would. I think these things are just amazing. We come around and beyond that hedge is a fountain, if I recall. Ah, a little further than I expected. There's the fountain. It's hard to keep this thing steady because I'm walking on uneven bricks and everything. Straight down this way. As I recall, I dropped my one of my sticks. As I recall, I <clears throat> propped my camera right here because I wanted to picture myself walking down. And a couple girls appeared, and well, women. You can see them kind of grinning because they know what I'm doing. And I, get back on the Camino and it is a cute little town I won't be critical except all the bars are closed and it's nine o'clock and when I say bar I'm referring to places that serve coffee and other stuff it's not a drinking establishment per se so check it out there is my pilgrim's tattoo I got that tattoo in 2018 after walking now fuck people I could be I could be on the top of a peak with nobody around and I can and clear views of the Camino for miles in both directions. Nobody here? Do my blog, turn it on, Boop, here are five fucking people. Yeah. Nobody coming that way? Nobody coming that way. Okay, so you... You saw the... Be coming. Like I say, they're like out of the woodwork like ants. <sighs> Thought I heard somebody. You saw the tattoo. I had the tattoo done a couple months after I did the Saria de Santiago Camino in 2018. People. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Had the tattoo done then. I thought it was all that. I thought I have walked a Camino when really I'd only walked the last 113 kilometers of the Camino. You really don't get a full Camino experience. You don't get the full deconstruction of your mind, body, and soul. You don't get any of that in the last 118 kilometers. But you certainly come out, at least for me, I certainly came out thinking I was all that and got a tattoo. On this Camino, people have seen that tattoo and they say, oh cool, you've walked the Camino before. And I say, I've walked from Saria to Santiago. I got this tattoo prematurely. Now I'm back to earn it. I'm not really tired. I don't need to stop for physical rest, but uh, I realized today, my brother who wrote the music for these videos as they appear on YouTube, he wrote a song 40 some years ago. And there's a line, um, something about, I need to spend some time alone this evening doing up my head. Talking about, in his case, talking about the story, the song, it was getting drunk to forget a woman. 
He loved. For me, I'm doing up my head without alcohol, without a heartbreak, just doing up my head, because that's what I do. Parts of this are amazing, but then when I get inside my own head, I miss how amazing this Camino is. So I just knew I needed to stop. I needed to breathe, meditate a little bit, then we can go on. More climbing. That's the way I came. What else is new? There's the road behind us. 45 kilometers to Santiago. This place looks open, which would be good because I've been on the road for three hours and there's been nothing open. Summer up here is where I stopped and propped my camera up on a fence post and tried to explain how I learned I was doing my stick work all wrong. So I learned I've been using these wrong, not rhythmically applying them and balancing the weight and everything. So that video you saw of me using them earlier, a few days ago. The couple that helped me, God love them. They were lovely people. Beautiful Camino angels. But I felt like a freaking little kid being helped by a, you know lost can't find my parents here a couple strangers it was really humiliating for me for some reason at age 55 this looks like the place in fact I think I put my camera right on that fence post then you come down there's another cafe I'm in no hurry, you know. My albergue doesn't open for over two hours, and uh, I'm maybe 45 minutes away now. Somewhere up here. Yeah, I remember it was a climb. This camera's kind of being an asshole today. Big ass. There's the... I don't remember this at all. Yeah, here's the bar where we stopped. Can't really tell on here, but you can see the countryside beyond. It's beautiful. Little meat, little cheese and bread, Aquarius. We're good to go. Ribadiso. There are two little towns that make up Riba so ah. Interesting way to get in today for the Albergue Pension, right be Riba My friend Daryl stayed there last night, I believe. So Riba is actually two towns. We're standing in Riba de Baisho, back there, almost a kilometer, not quite is Ribadiso Carretera. Beyond that's Arjua. Look, we're in hill country. Look at this uh, statue. <clears throat> and just look at this lovely little square with these beautiful trees. I'm in Arzua and when I was here three years ago, I had thrown out my back. I stayed at a, uh, an albergue where I was the only one there, so I was all alone. And I was in absolute misery. It's 1.30 in the morning. I am the only person in this albergue. There are only like 15 beds. And uh, I hurt my back yesterday. Earlier it was really painful. I've iced it, ibuprofen. The pain was so bad, I was afraid I might not finish. And for three years, whenever I hear the name Arzua, I associate it with that pain, that misery, that loneliness. And I decided I wanted to give the town a little, a better chance this time. And just, just look at this square. Every, everybody told me this square was beautiful. But I didn't get to see it because I was in pain. Hi there. I'm really
really sad to see that the albergue where I stayed is closed. My bunk was right beyond that window. Middle of the night, I stared out. It was a Sunday night. Stared out at the empty street in pain. The streets of Ashu are empty. I feel like the last man on earth. Unable to breathe because it hurts so badly. So what today is like, it's like when you meet a person and your first impression is, I don't know if I like this person. Then you get to know them and you realize we could be good friends. I, I like this town. And I think that's important that I, that I fall in love with it. Anyway, two days out from Santiago, a little less than 40 kilometers. And I'm walking without a limp, which is nice. And no back pain. Look at that, look at these beautiful trees and these tables. I'm gonna meet a friend down here to eat, so 